Lesson 13 as well as uh, Lesson 12, we're not going to be doing any simulation or analysis. Perhaps again, I'm going to continue uh, teaching you the techniques or some of the techniques to make 3D models. Um, so we're going to ex explore more the extrude command in uh, ANSYS, which are equivalent to extru extrude and um, uh, revolve and uh, let's say sweep commands in um, uh, software such as uh, SOLIDWORKS or CATIA or PROE that we've used to make uh, 3D models. Also I'm gonna exp uh, uh, introduce uh, how to make active uh, CS or active coordinate systems and also uh, switching uh, between working planes and how to um, define your new working plane in order to uh, create 2D models. Also adding a adding more than one volumes to each other and uh, making uh, one, vol one volume out of uh, how many you have. And also copy of uh, your volumes that I I'm gonna teach today. But again since this model is gonna be very um, bulky my ANSYS is not going to be able to mesh it properly. As I said, this uh, the v this version that I have is limited to 10,000 elements per analysis. So for a uh, bulky 3D model that I'm going to make today, it's probably too much elements after proper meshing. So I can't really do a loading uh, and simulation on this uh, model. But the main goal is just to teach how you can use these com these commands to make your um, uh, models. And the model I'm going to make today is going to be very random. It's not going to be probably anything a real engineering or something. I'm just going to use these commands to show you how to uh, make models. So with this explanation let's go to ANSYS. Okay, in ANSYS again since I'm not doing a uh, simulation I'm going to skip all the steps and just jump to modeling and I'm going to use these uh, menus in here. So the first thing I'm going to say is um, let's switch to a 3D view and create three key points in the active CS at points 0, 0, and 0. Apply in here and then Z of minus 1 apply and then make zero, make z zero, and y of one, okay. So I have three key points in here, one, two, three, which I'm going to use to generate or to make a new uh, active coordinate system. So I come to work plane, local coordinate system, create local coordinate system by three key points. So first I pick the origin and then this is going to be my new X and this is going to be my new Y. Call it 11, that's OK, and then I click OK. So if you see I have a new coordinate system in this uh, location. The other thing that I have to do is to come to work plane, align the work plane with active coordinate system. Since, or wait, I haven't yet made, so I have to change active coordinate system first to specified coordinate system, click OK, give the number 11, OK. So the coordinate system that I made with these three key points is now the active coordinate system. Come to work plane again, align work plane with active coordinate system. So right now my work plane and my coordinate system are uh, attached to one another. So now that I'm done with this uh, coordinate system, I'm going to delete all the three key points. They're gone. Now, I'm going to create an area. A um, circle. By, no, but not by two, okay, I'm going to give um, a circle. There are two ways now for me to create 
uh, a solid circle. One of them is by dimensions. So I click here, and if I say outer radius of let's say one point, oops, or I I just picked one. So this radius is one, and if you see right now it's in y z direction of the previous coordinate system of the global Cartesian coordinate system but since I made a new coordinate system in which my x is in this direction and my y is in this direction the uh, circle is made in a in a coordinate system in which its z, its x axis is in uh, the minus z direction I'm going to delete this area and create another circle using solid circle given x of 0 and y of 0 and the radius of uh, 1.5 click OK I have the same area, the same circle in the same direction now I want to come and uh, do operate extrude the areas and um, along uh, normal which means in the glo in the x axis of the global coordinate system which is going to be the z axis of um, the new coordinate system or local coordinate system I'm just going to click along normal pick this area click OK and give let's say a length of uh, 4.5 and OK so this area is made for me now I'm going to use the another uh, mm, co command in modeling which is copy and I'm gonna copy this uh, volume and the negative negative uh, 4.5 uh, of the Z direction so if I do this so remember the length of this uh, cylinder was 4.5 so if I click OK I have two volumes this is the first volume and this is the second volume that are made for me. If I come here, li list volumes, I have volume number two and volume number volume number one and volume number two. Now let's switch our um, change our active coordinate system to global Cartesian, and also come to here and align work plane with uh, active coordinate system. Now we're switch. We're back to the previous uh, uh, or the global C Cartesian coordinate system. I'm going to come to create another circle. Uh, let's say by dimensions, or let's do this one at point zero and zero and uh, radius of 1.5. Click OK. This new area or circle is made for me in the direction of the active or global coordinate system I'm gonna go ahead and do the extrude again for this area along normal so I'm gonna pick this okay and then the same way so this is made for me copy this or it should be volume copy this volume in the negative 4.5 in the z direction so I have these uh, four uh, volumes in here then the next one I want to the next thing I want to do is uh, to define another um, global another local coordinate system so I come to here or let's make um, three key points again in the active coordinate system and the y of uh, let's say minus uh, 7 apply so first one is made in here now in x direction I want to make or in uh, z direction 1 apply 0 this and 1 in here okay so I'm going to use these three key points to to define another uh, active coordinate system. So by three key points, x direction, and this is my y direction. Call it 11. 
and then change active current system to number 11 okay and let's also say align work plane with active coordinate system now create and let me delete these uh, key points in order to uh, prevent confusion so I'm gonna come to delete key points this this and this okay now back to create the circle um, okay uh, the radius I'm gonna give the radius of um, let's say 2 to this one and then again I'm gonna extrude this area along normal the length of extrusion I'm gonna say it's Mm, let's give, uh, for example, 9.5 for this one. Okay, so I have made this uh, area in here. Now I'm going to switch back to global coordinate system. Also align my work plane with that and look at this model from front and create another circle most of the areas I'm making today are just circles so solid circle at the x of 6 and y of 0 and the radius of 2.5 let's say click OK so I have this area made in here if I click like this now I want to make two more key points in active CS at um, y's of minus let's say minus 10 apply and plus let's say 12 apply I'm gonna use these key points as my as the two ends of my axis to do a revolve in here so then I'm gonna come to operate extrude areas and to this time instead of going along normal I'm gonna say about axis which is uh, revolve in here so I'm gonna say about, about axis pick this area apply I have to pick two ends for the axis I'm gonna pick this one and this one okay and degree of uh, rotation I'm gonna uh, leave for 360 number of volume segments this uh, value will divide the volume into as many numbers as you want as you provide in here I'm gonna say let's make it four and click OK so I have uh, if I look from front I have this uh, volume in here now let's make um, some more uh, key points in active CS the first one I'm going to make is going to sit at Y of 9.5 which should be this surface or this area apply then the next one I'm gonna let it go until up to 15 apply so 60 and 59 are the key points that I just made and then at this point I'm gonna give one in the um, let's say 6 X but still the same Y apply and then give this one 21 which is 15 plus 6 apply and then go to an X of um, let's say 16 in here okay then I want to make lines with these uh, key points that I made straight lines from this one was the first key point I made so from here to here and then from 62 to 63 okay now I'm gonna do another thing I'm gonna come to lines or lines and arcs by end key points and radius so I'm gonna pick this one um, 
key point 60 and key point 62 are going to be the two ends of my arc, okay? Key point 61 is going to be the center, okay? The radius is going to be 6, okay? So I have made this path. I want to come back to um, operate, extrude, along lines, pick this area, if I can pick it. So let's uh, cancel this one and plot volumes along lines. Pick this line, OK. Now plot lines and pick this and this and this line. Click OK. OK, unfortunately, I hit or I reached the version uh, or the limit for this version of software that I have. But the idea would be this area would just go along this path, which it didn't go. It didn't follow the rest of the lines. But it would just go go ahead and uh, follow this uh, line and uh, 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 just generate a new model. So assuming that it, ha it has been done, if you have a bird uh, or a higher bird version of ANSYS, uh, it would be done. Now what I'm going to do here is to come to operate booleans, add volumes and pick all and um, well again because of uh, some uh, limits of my, s my software I couldn't finish the task Still, ANSYS does not let me to do anything. But uh, so basically, this is the idea right now. You just uh, define your lines. So if those three lines that I ma that I uh, made, they could f uh, this area could follow and just uh, make a, a path and do that. Well, this is the basic idea. I'm trying to add these, but somehow ANSYS is not going to let me do that. Tolerance value. So yeah this is basically um, the limitation of my so the version of ANSYS that I have on my computer um, but you guys can go ahead and use a better version of ANSYS and uh, um, do this model and then if you want you can define elements and material and um, define loads and mesh this volume after you you successfully do the add uh, command and then you can uh, analyze this model in any in any of the loading conditions that you want the final note in this lesson is um, you might have uh, you might realize that doing three Generating models like this in ANSYS is a little bit uh, hard and sophisticated compared to other software which is available such as SOLIDWORKS, PROE and, and other uh, 3D CAD softwares or applications. The only one way that you can um, overcome this uh, s uh, complicated method is to do your modeling in your modeling software or 3D CAD software and save, uh, save it in any of the uh, formats that ANSYS uh, accepts and then come here and import. For example, my version of software is um, good with IGES only. So if I save my model in let's say SOLIDWORKS in format of IGES, I can click here and uh, uh, input uh, uh, or import my model. But so far, right now, because my ANSYS just reached the limit, I can't go further. Um, but I hope you've, uh, you've learned how to use different comments in ANSYS to make uh, models. With this, I'm, I'm going to conclude lesson 13.